Robinson, kind enough to give us a few moments of his time after the game. Clint, congratulations on the homer. You went opposite field. It was a great swing. Take us through that at bat because it was your third time up. You were still hunting that first base hit. Yeah, you know, Kohler threw well. You know, before that, um, I'd had some uh, some trouble getting him on the plate, and you know, he just left a change up over and you know put a good swing on it, and the rest is history. You've had the remarkable ability this year to keep the batting average up in the 270, 280 range, even though your playing time now lately hasn't been that much. How hard have you worked in your time before ball games to stay ready for these opportunities? Um, you know, I try and work extremely hard. Um, you know, I try and get out there early and, you know, do my ground balls and the outfield work and all that stuff to stay ready defensively. And then in the cage, I don't really change anything. I show up every day to the ballpark expecting to play. And if I don't, you know, I have to uh, shift my focus. But I get in there and do the same cage work every day, approach BP the same way, and, you know, don't really change anything. And, Clint, obviously you guys knew the Mets lost before you took the field tonight. Is that an advantage? Do you approach the game any different knowing that? No, not really, because, you know, if we go out and take care of business, that's all we can control. So, uh, you know, we saw that the Mets had lost, and, you know, it was a good opportunity for us to gain a game, and, you know, we came out and took care of business. Hey, Clint, if we gave an MVP off the bench this year, you'd be the guy. Congratulations on a nice evening. Go enjoy your teammates. All right, thanks. Appreciate it, guys. Clint Robinson, three.